My name is Brennan Coyle. I'm the distiller here at High West Distillery in Salt Lake City, Utah, and we're talking about Scotch whiskey today, and specifically, how do you make a Scotch whiskey? Uh, first of all, by its very definition, Scotch whiskey has to be made in Scotland. So you can't really make a Scotch whiskey outside of Scotland, but you can make a Scotch style whiskey, which is going to be comprised of uh, a single malt would be 100% malted barley, which is what I have going on here right now. That means your entire grist bill is 100% malted barley. So it's barley that's been allowed to germinate for a short amount of time, grow for a short amount of time, and then you terminate that growth with uh, kilning and higher temperatures. Uh, so a single malt would be 100% malted barley, whereas a blended malt would be a blend of malts. And they have uh, other Scotch whiskeys that aren't from malted barley, but from grains such as corn, wheat, things like that. Um, but traditionally, when you're talking about Scotch, you're talking about all malt whiskey. Uh, they would use a, a still similar to this without this column right here. This is the pot of the still. Uh, this is the head. This is a column. That's the condenser. Uh, a traditional scotch style pot whiskey still will not have a column like this. It'll go directly from the pot to the head and this pipe will come over directly to a condenser. Uh, this makes for a more rich, flavorful whiskey. All this column for right here is for purification matters. This is a laboratory still we use here for, um, for new products and things like that. So it's nice to have this column here when we want to use it. But for this specific distillation, I'm not even using it right now, but we're going straight over into the condenser. So uh, it's a, each Scotch whiskey has its own unique flavor. And one of the reasons for these unique flavors that uh, the distillers over in Scotland will tell you is the shape of their still. Uh, each still is a little bit different shape over in Scotland, which lends to a slightly different whiskey on a, on a small level. So um, as they say, there's no bad Scotch whiskeys, just some are better than others. So go try one. Um, there's a lot of f fantastic examples in the States right now. So once the spirit comes over into the condenser, it comes out as a white clear spirit as it is right here. Uh, you'll take the middle cut of the spirit. The first cut is a little bit too uh, pungent. There's some uh, flavors and aromas that you don't really want in the middle cut. You take the end cut, you get rid of both of those, and then you have this middle spirit cut uh, with all the proper flavors and aromas that you want. This then goes into an oak barrel and ages for a number of years, minimum three years as far as Scotch whiskey is concerned. You can't uh, call it a Scotch whiskey until it's been aged for at least three years. Uh, and after that point, it's really the distiller's decision. Uh, for what kind of product they're looking for. So go try a Scotch whiskey. There's plenty of uh, lovely examples on the, on the market today.